the nature let's actually bring you on this uh, you know expanding the conversation to the nature of partnership between bp and reliance as mr tulsian is saying this shouldn't be only about setting up 5000 uh, you know outlets uh, is there a sort of a, a bigger sort of play here to the relationship? I, if I remember correctly, when in 2011 the partnership was formed, BP at that time put in about seven and a half billion dollars. How do you see that relationship over the last couple of years, and what's the next step? Good question. First of all, you see, it's not only BP coming into India. Shell is knocking at the door of the government of India. Uh, Aramco from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait Petroleum, Rosneft from Russia, they're all looking at India's retail opportunities. So mm -hmm. it's not only BP. Shell is very close to actually probably going to announce the plan very soon. And But having said that, you know, as per you, I don't think this partnership, the new kind of, uh, you know, energy in the partnership between BP and the RIL is going to be limited to, to uh, you know, oil retail only. My sense is, yes, oil retail will be one of the major areas, but this is probably going to be more for natural gas because mm -hmm. India is probably going to the most attractive natural gas market in the world, probably bigger than even China. And that's probably where the partnership will eventually lead to, which means they, you will find them setting up kind of retail outlets for CNG mm. and maybe even LNG across the country, which will entail basically huge amount of investment, including building pipelines and retail network and evacuation network mm. and uh, other for particularly for LNG, mm. because as India moves in the direction of gas-based economy from coal-based economy, mm. and which means opportunities worth at least 30 to $40 billion mm. over, over the coming year. Uh, well, and Mr. it yeah. will also involve setting up LNG terminals or yeah. bringing Mr. LNG Tanisha, this is, to, into India. This this is a huge plan. What kind of a timeline are you giving? Uh, I mean, I'm more interested in gas because the government also has been speaking about gas as a cleaner fuel. And uh, uh, there are, of course, starving uh, power stations also looking for gas uh, uh, at this point in time. Uh, is this a, a two-year thing, a three-year thing, or even much longer than that? I mean, the gas, well, no, gas no. plants. Even, no, I think, I think you know, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, allow me to be a little bit more generous on this. In the sense, you see, oil will remain central to India's economy for next 20 years, and mm. gas will be central to India's economy for next 40 years. So when you look at the partnership of company like BP and RIL, this is going to be a very long-term thing. In no, the no, sense, they try to... The partnership is long-term. I'm just asking but, you, when do you think the gas plans uh, will you know find fruition uh, oh, because I, I, we are we are in need I, of I gas rather I, urgently I, I think I think within next one year and oh. just wait for the press conference and you might actually see the hints of that already today oh. and I think because that's basically the area these two parties companies have been working on after being unsuccessful in in, in basically delivering gas from the Indian uh, wells I think is going to be natural gas probably brought by BP from BP fields across the world into India and then that is going to be the supply kind of base but I think you will see the hint of that in the press conference today and I think as far as the gas store and the partnership is concerned, I think this is this cannot wait for two years. This oh. is going to begin soon. The only thing is that, you know, in terms of details and economics and all that, mm. we'll have to wait for that. But I think this will begin soon and probably starting with LNG.